Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Two Cents with Aisha Verano. Today I have one of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> Divina Oriaki. Hi everyone. Hi. Thank you for having me. <laughs> in all fairness guys so this wasn't meant to be a video it sort of kind of happened yeah. we're talking we realized the camera was rolling and we just kept it going yeah so it might not come in the structure in which you guys want usually um see it but i do think it was a very interesting conversation heartfelt conversation mm -hmm. and just you know all together vibes so yeah subscribe if you haven't already if you're one of my returning subscribers you guys are my fans <laughs> oh so, yeah I almost kicked my camera there. That would yeah. be love for you people. Pros are pros. What are the pros? What are the pros? Um, what is the pros? Teaches you how to communicate. Teaches you to be creative. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Teaches you to be creative. Mm -hmm. Forces you to be thoughtful. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm, I'm preaching to myself You're right preaching. now. It taught me, it forced me to be thoughtful. It forced me to put in effort. It really did. Those three things. Okay. Cons. They might be living a double life. Ooh, that's the painful thing. That's the painful thing. And I feel like if it doesn't work out, you feel like you're wasted even more, more. than with a physical relationship. Because you're like, I did not even, not even like, what did I get out of it? That's how I feel because, because what you would get out of it is intangible. Mm -hmm. The connection at that time, but that's about it. So then it feels intangible after the words. So what did I get out of it? Like someone. Like you just came to waste my time. Ah, people like me that physical touches our uh, love language mm. be hard. <laughs> it's hard. Also, easy to fall in sexual sin. That's much easier. Because you're just like, oh, you know, we're not exactly Actually, having sex. Like, you know, send me a picture. You know what he's doing with that picture. You know what he's doing with that picture. When you're in a long distance relationship, especially with the wrong person, it blinds you from people that are actually around you. That's a good one. I feel like that's a good one. I feel like we have what we need, I mean. Uh, yeah, that's what happened to me and Hamza. Hamza was right in front of me. And I left him because of Elisa. Literally. That's why it came to my mind. I was just like, maybe I wasn't ready to be with Hamza at the time, mm -hmm. but it's something to think about. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Why are you not doing it? No, I definitely agree. I'm just like thinking like, that's such a good point. Now I'm thinking like, please, where are the people that time? To be fair, if you were outstanding, I wouldn't have to friends you. Yeah. If you were outstanding, I wouldn't have to friends you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, true, if true, you're true, not, true, true, true. If you're not outstanding to me, true, 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 you know, true. it would not take me long to friends on you. True. I'm just thinking like, true. I'm a baddie bee. Baddie bee. Baddie bee, you know? <laughs> So there's standards when it comes to that. The, th dude, the truth of the matter is, I feel like the mistakes a lot of guys make is they don't they don't come correct. You know, for example, if you're coming to me and all oh, you're you know, making comments around my body all the time, it's a turn off. Or if they're trying to police my weight, it's a turn off. Guys do that a lot. Like, oh my god, like shut up. Really? Yeah. Like guys try to police your weight or so with those sorts of things. I'm just like, I'm not even gonna keep you as a friend. friend. I don't want none of that. True. Do you get? So it's like for me, it's like it's it depends on how you come. And also if I go back and think about some people that came correct, one that came correct was boring. Some people that came correct. One that came correct was boring. I was just like, oh. that's usually the case though. People find them boring. That's sad. Like, I don't want to have to be telling you one, one thing that really irritates me is having to be telling you what I need you to do. Like, I understand there are some times where you have to tell people to, you know, I 
don't appreciate that. This is what I need. Da, da, da. But I feel like if I have to tell you every single thing, it feels like I'm babying you. I'm nobody's mother. I don't want to have to be teaching you every single thing. Like, I feel like if you find yourself teaching you every single thing, that's not your person. Exactly. That's not Which is why person. I don't waste time with that. If I feel like I have to be teaching, teaching you, telling you what to do every, like, no. Every single time. It's a no. There should be, like, occasions where, like, mm. you do certain things that are actually maybe yeah, 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 like yeah, this yeah, 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 That's yeah. different from a consistent thing. And it's almost as like I'm trying to force you to fit into mm, my mold. Exactly. Of and, um, yeah. Exactly. And I don't want to do that to nobody. I'm not that kind of controlling person. I like everyone just do your thing because I don't want to be controlled. Because mm. that would make me resentful. So you wouldn't want to. Inflict I would that never want else. to inflict that on anyone else. Um, so for me, it's like I don't like the whole idea of having to teach a man. You know, they always say, "Oh, you have to teach him. You have to teach him. You have to teach him." I'm not his mother. If his mother has not taught him, or if he has not received the teaching, it's not on me. It, it is not. Do you get so? And if so I think you're teaching him, you're not teaching him for yourself. You're teaching him for the next woman. Exactly. You know, you spend years teaching somebody, you leave and then marry the first one he meets mm-hmm. after you because mm-hmm. you prepared. Because you prepared him. Next person. Nah, I'm not in the business of wasting my whole time. For your benefit. Because they're going to benefit me. me. They're going to benefit me. me. So there is that. But I think it's just things like that or the boring one. The thing is, I feel like with people like us, right, we are great conversationalists. So we have fun around people. True. Because of us. Let's just be quiet. True. And then you will see how the conversation will shatter. True. Let me take a step back for you to take the lead. I'll give you an example. So for me, before I used to be like, oh my god, we connected so well, blah blah blah. But guess what? I connect with everyone because I'm the connection. Are you listening? <laughs> no, I actually think that is something that people need to keep in mind, especially people like us who are good conversationalists or know how to make people feel comfortable because you can do that with everyone else so just because you have a connection with this person doesn't mean that that's your person because you can replicate that connection with someone anywhere else. yes as you said once you step back and you're no longer in the driver's seat what happens and that's you're what i so do right i do that like after like maybe like a few dates mm. i just step back I let you, I see how you handle it. I see how you, you know, engage me. Mm. If you can't, then guess what? I know we're not like meant to be together Mm. because you can't intellectually stimulate me in any way. You can't have conversations where I'm not the one driving it. Mm. I'll give you an example. There was this guy I was dating at some point. We didn't like make it official or anything, but we're talking, going out on dates and doing things together. We went on a few dates. He was very thoughtful in the way he would plan the dates. Mm-hmm. Plan, he would plan interesting activities, mm-hmm. and it was fun. They were good experiences, good memories, mm-hmm. right? But what I noticed was after that, I noticed that the whole conversations, I was, the conversations were good, but it was also because I was driving the conversation. So I was like, okay, in the interest of making sure that. You actually connect with this person and it's not a like oh yeah we connect we connect like you connect with everyone yeah. i was like let me just take a step back and see how our conversations move forward after that and then i started to notice our conversations were like less next to nothing it was like imagine having conversations where you're like hi, hi how are you because you stopped initiating because i stopped initiating he would call me all the time but the difference is i would be the one driving the conversation i'll be the one asking me questions i'll be the one engaging he to him calling me and just saying oh hey hon how are you how's everything is enough for him. is enough for him that's quality to him he thought there was quality time to me quality time is intentional conversation mm. It is, yes, we can have, hey, how are you, blah, 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 during the day, whatever, here and there. But conversations that make me feel like, okay, that I don't have to drive. Mm. If I flip that the other way, 
there's this dude where like when we talk I never have to drive the conversation so for me he passes like the first stage mm. Because I'm thinking, I never have to drive the conversation. I could, even on a day when I'm quiet, he will get me to talk. Mm. Because he is like me in that sense, mm. in the conversationalist mm. aspect. Do you get me? So it's like, it just works mm. with, you know, in that. Now, you know, we have to see if other things fit. But that's, do you get that? That's at least one thing. But I think for me, that's the one thing that actually makes me limit like it, it's one thing that falls a lot of guys away mm. it helps me pick people it's your filter it's my filter because the truth is once i take a step back it becomes visible and you know we've talked about this before i was like i don't think i can date a quiet person you can't because you can't date someone that's quiet and insecure yeah those two oh i dated those someone two i dated someone who was insecure before and even this was not even when i had fully blossomed him. really and still he was so insecure and it just could not work so imagine me now you can't mm, even we cannot can't be in the it. same room because you won't be able to handle it mm, mm. do you know what i mean so yeah that is interesting but yeah i used to wonder with the quiet people because i'm like See, but I'm not giving them a chance. It's like you, you. This is what I tell people. There's a difference between being an introvert and being someone that is just. Mm, I want to use my words wisely, <laughs> so I don't. It doesn't. It no one. It's no not so it yeah. There's a difference between being an introvert and someone that cannot talk. Just because you're an introvert doesn't mean yeah, that you cannot keep conversation. Yeah. It just means that your social battery runs out a lot easier mm-hmm. and quicker than the normal extrovert or normal right. person, right? So just because you like your space and you like to be like just to yourself it's and use words. few words, mm-hmm. when your social battery is up and it's with one person that you actually care about, you will put in the effort. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like. I keep telling people that an introvert and an extrovert can date because they are not handicapped in the sense that you are not totally incapable of speaking or doing things that the other person cannot do. An an extrovert can stay at home. An introvert can go to a party. They just deal with it in a different way. Do you understand? 100%. So it's not that you're not giving room to quiet people. It's which of these quiet people actually put in effort? I think it's about mm. effort. It's not even about personality. It's about effort. Mm. Because a quiet person doesn't have to drive the conversation all the time. But when it's their turn, they do a good job. It might not be all the time. Mm. But let them do a good job when it is. Do you understand? Mm. Because if you're the extrovert and you have to drive the conversation most of the time, that's fine. But as long as that 30 or 40% that he's taking over mm. does it well. Not as if you give him the baton and he cannot run. Not as if you give him the baton and he cannot run. Uh, Do you understand? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely do. I definitely do. You're right about that because, like, I feel like everyone just, it's just, it's a good skill to have in general. Mm. In life, in interviews, in networking, you need to be decent at having conversations. I'm not saying be the best, be decent. And you, you don't even need love. to be talkative. You don't. I'm not talkative. Exactly. Exactly. You don't even need to be. T- I feel like when people hear extrovert, they think loud, talkative. So no, you just. How will I put this now? Yes, they are those things, but they know how to drive a conversation. That's the best way to say. It. They know how much. to drive a conversation, and an introvert is not incapable of doing that. They just do it less. That's all. 100% and I think like the thing is I like to refer to myself as an ambivert because I'm like you are. I'm definitely both yeah, yeah. and um, I go through phases where I'm just like I can be indoors for months and mm. it's fine and then the next thing I'm out and then I'm out for a couple of months then I go inside and then I go to come back out again mm-hmm. you know I mean? so it's so you can be both and I feel like regardless what anyone would say is ah you know she's nice you know we had a good time do you know what I mean like it's just wherever I find myself I make the best of it 
Um, but I think also I feel like it's one of those things where you want to have that banter with your partner. You don't want to feel like you have to explain every sentence. Mm, oh my god, yes, I can relate to this girl. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. Oh, and they're just looking at you like, and they're just looking at you like, and you're like, wait, wait, like just, and they're like, I can't be explaining everything to you. I don't want to have to. It's too much. Mm. Too much effort. I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to. I feel like. I don't subscribe to the whole thing of you have to do this, it has to be so hard. Mm. It doesn't have to be. You know? Mm-hmm. Like all that struggle relationships, like oh it doesn't actually have to be struggle. It could be. And it's a very it's a very problematic mentality to have because then when you do get into a relationship that is smooth sailing mm-hmm. and there are relationships like that, mm-hmm. you start to feel like you're when supposed you to be a fr- Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what they always say. Yes, that's yes, what a lot of people yes, say. When yes, is the, yes, you know, yes, I, you yes. know, everything was just so amazing. I just kept thinking, when is the other shoe going to drop? I'm like, just like, no, it doesn't have to, hon. You know, everything can be good, good, <laughs> and there's no problem with that. I think it's also a thing where people are attracted to toxicity. They're attracted to projects. Mm, savior complex. Ooh, they're attracted to projects. They're attracted to drama because they are coming from drama, or oh, that's mm. all they know. What other common mistakes since we've said we tied to common mistakes? Assumption. They used to assume. You'll be assuming that you people are the same. No, talk about this. Don't you? That is a good one. Ah, assumptions, babe. That is the cause I've been. But yeah, assumptions. Mm -hmm. Like, don't assume that you guys are on the same page. Don't say it especially and people tend to think that they're on the same page especially if they have been friends before or they go to the same church or they're in the same group of friends mm. so they feel like they're on the same page in, with certain things but they're actually not no. you have to like you can't assume you have to ask questions and i also want to say i don't think it's ever too soon to ask questions because if that person is your person they won't think it's no too care. soon yes I don't think because don't waste your time. I feel you know what. I don't even think it's a it's it has anything to do with age. If you feel like you want to ask questions, ask, ask them. Your questions. Ask I your feel questions. like don't let anyone ever make you feel like your questions are not valued. That's how mm. I feel. Because it's like it's a question in your heart. Ask it. Do you know what I mean? Like don't let anyone say, oh, it's too soon. Like mm. what is too soon? If I want to know where I want to go, let me know where I want to yeah. go. Yeah. And if the person feels, oh, this is too much, good. The person hasn't filtered it's not out for you. you. The person's not for you. Exactly. Simple. Hallelujah to that. There is no like, if anything, should I have, thank you, I'm grateful. Yes. What other common mistakes do people make? That assumption thing, actually, let's not even move forward yet. The reason I say that assumption thing also is because sometimes you see people, they've never had the conversation of being exclusive. They are moving around like they're exclusive with this person. Then Which the person does nature. something, mm. and then they're like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" I thought, I thought, I no. thought what did you think, dear? You thought, but you thought wrong, mm-hmm. dear. Like you should have asked. Ask. Don't set yourself up for failure. Just ask. Ask. And I feel like what you can get is I don't know. This actually moves me into a second point. Or mm-hmm. third, fourth, fifth. We've been talking for ages. Yeah. Po- the next yeah, point. Yeah, I wasn't counting. <laughs> this moves me into the next point. Don't go into a relationship feeling that this is my last bus stop. Mm. Or this is a do or die affair. It has to work. Mm. Or after this, I cannot find somebody else to love me. Mm. Because if you go in with that mentality, when... If the person then says, oh, I don't want us to be exclusive, or I don't think it's going to work no, out, stay. you will now feel like the whole world's like, no, my dear, it's just dating. Do you understand? True that, true that. Yeah, so, unless you heard it from God, and the person is not married. <laughs> <laughs> that, this person, uh, that this person is your person. <laughs> don't go into it thinking this is do or die. No, because the truth of the matter is, I actually heard somebody say this when I was very young. I think I was like 14 or something. Mm. This girl was so passionate. She said, I love my boyfriend, but I know that if it ends, somebody else will love me and maybe even more. And in my head, I'm saying, why are you saying this in a relationship? But it's true. It is true. It's true. And it's a healthy mentality to have. So that the litis, the, the, 
the slightest change or rejection or disappointment mm. or heartbreak will not make you stay there but yeah like it's all right to be heartbroken it's natural you'd be sad you'd be disappointed you got there all right you got there all right last like, last 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 it might take you weeks it might take you months but you will move on and you will find someone else a hundred percent that will love you and maybe love you Mm, like she said. He's wrong. Like she said. He's wrong. She ain't wrong. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Because if you think about it, I don't know if you feel like there's a pro, um, there's a progression in your dating, mm -hmm. where you thought this person loved you till you meet the next one, mm -hmm. and then you the next one, and then the next one you're like, ah, this last one loved me with fire. Mm -hmm. Do you guess? And then the next one you're gonna meet again, and then be the little then what? Love you the most mm -hmm. until the next one again. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. For me, I feel like there's been a progression. Mm, same, actually. Exactly. Same, actually. Same, absolutely. So just, just so you know. But then I think it's also because we do pick them sensibly. I don't know. Not all the time. Not all the time. You don't think so? Me, not all the time. Mm. You, yes. <laughs> you have a whole probation period in your head. You have a whole probation period in your head. I don't. I vibe. <laughs> It's true. My current relationship, yes, it was very intentional. Mm. But before that, no. Mm. No, 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 no. It was vibes, man. It's just like, oh. yeah, vibes. <laughs> Got into it, thought, ah, let's make it into something. But there was no intention before that. So obviously mm. it was going to crumble. Mm. Especially they weren't, they weren't the ones. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Speaking of the one, do you feel like there's specifically one person for you? Okay. Yes and no. Okay. Yes and no. There's um there could be the one for this season. There could be the one for a this life. City. In the air. <laughs> this city. No, it's true. There could be the one for this season, there could be the one for a long term partnership or life partnership. There could be the one to teach you something. Mm -hmm. And also I feel like there's no perfect person as well. Mm -hmm like no one is perfect and there's no mr right like the way society likes the way no it's not there's no yeah the, i feel like they're different the ones mm -hmm. they're different ones i think ultimately it's probably one of those things where the person is perfect for you it doesn't have to be perfect for anyone else mm -hmm. like you know they're not perfect themselves but it works very compatible i feel like compatibility is is a huge thing that i think people um forget because the thing is, like, people can love you, but you guys are not compatible. compatible. That was my last one. True. <laughs> yeah, right? True, 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 true. Like, true, 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 nothing true. but love, but compatibility. Not, and that us. really plays a major role in the long run. It does. Because how are you going to live with a person if you're not compatible? You tear each other's hair. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's mad. <coughs> it's mad. Yeah. Yeah, compatibility is a huge, huge thing. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, I know people say compatibility can be worked on, but I think there needs to be a basic level of compatibility. Like, there needs to be, not even basic, there needs to be a good level of compatibility where you're like, okay, we are compatible. Yes, there are certain things that we can work on, mm. but like, are we compatible overall? Mm. If nothing changes, are we compatible? Mm. For me, I could not say yes. I fair it was a strong no fair because enough. if nothing changes, I know I'm not. Do you get? We're not compatible. So it's like one of those things where like you gotta realize it's when you realize it, and then it's not by force. It's not by force, my dear. You yeah, heard that? It's not a do find, or die. Find a different arrangement. Literally, it's not do or die. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. I can't lie, I'm tired though. It's already for like for my anyone. Do you want to film? You still want to film? You've done a fantastic no I'm okay. Click the button and tap the bell for notifications. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. If there's anything that we said that resonated, you can relate to, anything you want us to talk about, let's know in the comment section below. On that note, thank you so much guys. Bye!